Hi, Thomas here from Polestar. We are in Gothenburg with our precept, our car that we should have presented in Geneva, but we all know things have happened, Geneva show was cancelled, and we all have certainly a lot of other things, more important things on our mind than car shows presenting great concepts. Having said that, we as well spent all quite a lot of time at home and we thought why not take that opportunity, entertain you, bring you what we would have done in Geneva here with a visit to the Precept and do a tour together with me to have a look at the car and introduce you to all the nice features that we would have shown in Geneva. The awesome rear view of Polestar Precept. School signature, the lights, super precise geometric in a soft sculptural body. That's the principle, the architecture that we use at Polestar. One great innovation we put into Precept is camera in the rear projecting an image onto the inner mirror of the rear street. By that, we do not have to build in a window for the rear view. We can make a really big bootlet and move the beam that normally is hovering above the rear occupants much further back so that you have the panoramic roof extended, you get all the nice light and of course as well space for your head. The smart zone. At Polestar we replace what used to be the grill with electric elements that we collect the elements that are needed for the pilot assist system and we have that all nicely techy put into the smart zone where they all find a natural face defining place for the electric age. We split the horizontal element of Taurus Hammer into two and have that nice parallel move here with the body color in between. That is the evolution of Taurus Hammer the Polestar way. I showed you the smart zone, now let's talk about the wing. The wing in the front of Precept is there for improved laminar flow of the air. Really good aerodynamics, important for the range of an electric car. Electric car blinks when it's charging. That's beautiful, precise lines, wonderful central shapes and a wing that has all the power, not the V8 anymore, that is the modern architecture. Powerful wheels, aerodynamic flow. Do you see chrome on Precept? Hmm. Tiny little, but what you see most is what we love, the play between high gloss surfaces and matte within one color or switching between materials. That is what we consider a new modern look of a car. Graphics is an important element for our design. Technical cool description, nicely adding to the precise expression of our designs. The sill is not made in carbon fiber. The sill actually is a finish as well in the B-Comp material, the sustainable natural fiber material in the exterior as well. The smart zone adds a side for the sensors that monitor to the side of the car, collect it in the high gloss smart zone matte gloss and the nice matte silver body of the Precept. It's not just flush door handles, it's as well the flush integration of the glass really getting all the little disturbance for the airflow out of the concept and making it as aerodynamic as possible. You know the shape of the coke bottle, a nice slim waist and a powerful hip this is where the rear wheel gets the power and where the cabin nice aerodynamic tapers. That is what made great sports cars in the past and it makes a great precept for the future. Long wheelbase, great for an electric car. Lots of batteries and lots of space for the legs of the occupants. That's what I've been talking about. Long wheelbase gives you great interior space. Despite that it's a low sporty car, you get a really comfortable, great interior space. 
And now let's play the trick. Natural fibers in the interior. Instead of using lots of virgin plastics, we have Bicomp natural fiber material for our interior panels. Real sustainability put into the modern car aesthetics. Okay, sitting in the second row, I enjoy this great space for my knees. The view from the gigantic panoramic roof into the blue sky. And we talked about the rear view mirror inner being fed by a camera. We could move the metal structure, which is normally right behind your head, far away so the panoramic roof can extend and give you that incredible feeling of free open air and the space around you, which indeed is real. So when I sit down in the preset, the car recognizes me and welcomes me. And this nice light sequence shows that the car is initiated. The dashboard actually is quite far away. The biggest function of the dashboard is to carry the air duct for the climatization. In front of you are two displays. One for the driver with the driver-centric information. It is horizontal in the steering wheel. And the big screen in the center, portrait style, giving you all the interaction information that you need for the infotainment. Feature I like the most in the interaction system is proximity. That means you have a really clean, easy to read screen, but reaching out, buttons pop up, additional information, and you have big, nice touch areas that are easy to touch in a moving car. Taking the hand away, it goes back to the calm view. Turn by turn indication is now mixed together with the Google Maps traffic information and the ADAS, the information of the car surrounding you, all merged into one display. Vegan interiors is a big topic for Polestar and here in the precept we use recycled PET bottles to produce the yarn for our seat cover material. The seat cover itself is produced in a technology that is called 3D knitting. In the 3D knitting you produce as one shape the cover for the seat and by that of course you avoid all the cut-offs and all the waste material that you produce normally. Those panels are backlit to show you something. We have the flux here making the nice vertical structure and you see the cross members in the back, the grid, that is the power ribs made as well out of flux and it gives the whole panel the structural strength that they need. So people ask me all the time, what is the future of Polestar? They want to see the new cars coming, which of course we are not showing yet. But Precept shows you where we will be heading, design direction, where we will be going with our ambition about sustainability and what great interaction, what great user experience we will bring with our future cars. Precept is a declaration, a manifesto. It shows our future ahead, not as a fancy dream, as a, you know, something that could be out of Star Wars. No, that is reality to come.